So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and contain an equation or an expression. We have an equation provided for us. The question just says, what is the smallest solution to the given equation? So I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to start actually here with the question that's provided. I'm going to square both of these. Oh, let's see. Let me erase that. We already have a squared inside of this first one. So the fact that this is x minus 2 squared um, means that this simplifies to just x minus 2. And then we still would have our 3x plus 34 under the radical, which means I'd have to square both sides anyway. I'm trying to avoid that, but it's going to happen anyway. So now I have x minus 2 squared is equal to 3x plus 34, because when you square a square root, the square root goes away or cancels out. Then I should uh, expand this x minus 2. So it would become x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 equals 3x plus 34. So this is x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 3x plus 34. Let's go up here for some more space. If I subtract 3x and subtract 34 from the right-hand side and bring it over to the left-hand side, I end up with 0 on the right-hand side. But on the left, I'd have x squared minus 7x um, minus 30 equals 0. I would then have this trinomial that I can factor. What are two numbers that multiply together to equal negative 30 but add up to negative 7? Well, that would be negative 10 and positive 3. So this trinomial will factor to a product of two binomials, and they would be x minus 10 and x plus 3 equals 0. And therefore, x would equal positive 10 and x would equal negative 3 in order to make this statement true, right? So the question asks for the smallest solution to the given equation. Um, the smallest solution is negative 3. So you can plug in a negative 3 for the digital SAT. So our answer here is negative 3.